Welcome to BBC One this morning at six o'clock. It's time for breakfast. Good morning. Welcome to Breakfast with John Kay and Sally Nugent. Hello, morning. Our headlines today. A major blow for the government's plan to deport some migrants to Rwanda. The first flight was grounded late last night after a series of legal challenges. Well, that flight should have taken off from this military base at 10.30, but a last-minute intervention from the European Court of Human Rights stopped it. The government says despite the setback, they're undeterred. The survivors of Mariupol, Ukrainian families who managed to escape the city, describe their time living under the Russian onslaught as hell on earth. Mercy killing or murder? Former Northumberland miner David Hunter is about to stand trial in Cyprus, accused of murdering his terminally ill wife, Janice. Are we facing a summer of disruption? Good morning. BT workers will be asked today if they want to strike. Commuters will find out about next week's railway walkout. A look at why more industrial action is on the cards. Good morning. England's biggest home defeat in 94 years. A 4-0 loss to Hungary sparks a backlash from supporters five months out from the World Cup. The rising sea levels forcing people from their homes. A new report puts 200,000 properties in England at risk. December last year, there was eight metres of road between here and the end there. I me measured it yesterday and we're down to 3.4 metres. Good morning from St James's Park in London, which was the warmest part of the UK yesterday at 25 Celsius. Today for England and Wales it's going to be another sunny day and a very warm one. For Scotland and Northern Ireland you'll have more cloud with some showers across the north and the west. I'll have all the details throughout this morning's programme. Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday, the 15th of June, and our main story is that the first flight taking asylum seekers from the UK to Rwanda was cancelled late last night, minutes before it was due to take off, after a series of successful legal challenges. The Home Secretary, Priti Patel, said she was disappointed but insisted the government will not be deterred and will now begin preparations for the next flight. Mark LaBelle reports. Going nowhere. Boris Johnson's Rwanda plan to cut immigration grounded for now. This flight was originally meant to take over 100 asylum seekers to Rwanda, then just a handful and finally none following a series of legal challenges. The charter plane has now returned to its base in Spain. It's particularly galling for the government coming on the day more than 300 people arrived in Dover after attempting to cross the channel in small boats. The exact journey